YouTube family, I'm back again. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make salmon. But first, you know a lot of people don't peel this off. The skin, make sure you peel the skin off. And um, when, you, when you grab it with this, make sure you put your hand right here to stop it so it won't break up none of the salmon. You always put your hand right there to kind of hold it as you go. And then you just hold it and peel it. So none of the meat, no, none of the stuff won't get caught. So you just keep putting your finger right there. Then you just hold it. Hold it as you pull. See? Because it can get it can get caught onto this and then it'll start tearing. Hold it as you pull. See that? Hold it as you pull. All the way across. Hold it as you pull. It's always important to take this off. Then it makes it easier. Hold it as you pull. Keep holding it as you pull. All the way. A lot of people don't like to deal with this, but it only takes less than a minute to take it off. Hold it as you pull. See, I'm almost finished. Hold it as you pull. This is fine. You can keep that on there. Then right now, I'm going to kind of soak it in some water. Just soak it so I can clean it. So you just soak it real good. And then you put some salt. You can put salt. Throw a little salt in there. And then just let it sit for like, let it sit for about, I'll say about five minutes. You can let it sit. But rinse this off. And just let it sit. Okay. Now, I just took it out the pan from letting it soak. I need to get another cutting board. But you can cut these in threes. Cut them in threes. And then now, we're gonna season them. We're gonna do some seasoning. Okay, you can put the lemon pepper seasoning. You can put a little dash. Put a little dash. Okay, so now I seasoned it. I put the Lori's seasoning salt and I put the lemon pepper seasoning. So you can use, this is a good grease to use. Use that green oil. And you don't have to put too much in. I got my grease going. Just put a little in there. Not too much, just a little. And you don't want to have your skillet high. You don't want to have it high. And you don't want to keep turning it over. You just want to sit it there and just let it cook. You don't want to keep flipping it or keep messing with it. After a while, like I say about like seven minutes, then kind of look at it, turn it over. Okay, it's sizzling. I'm about to take it out in a little. If you don't have nothing to cover it up with, you know, you can always use foil. Tear a piece of foil off and just cover it up. 